Hey there, everyone. The will has spoken again tonight, and it said, Paranormal Entities. Now, the story premise kind of reminds me of how you would play Phasmophobia. So let me go ahead and just start reading it to you guys. You are Cliff, a college student who is a brand new freelance cameraman for the show Paranormal Entities, the number two rated ghost investigation show on the Hunting and Outdoors cable network. You have been hired to inspect the St. Augustine Asylum for the Mentally Ill. You will go into this facility, follow the producer's instructions through a radio earpiece, keep your camera on, and try to make contact with the spirits inside. If nothing happens, you will get $500 for your time. If you manage to get some amazing footage of real paranormal activity on your camera, um, uh, it kind of cuts off there. But um, you'll end up getting, I think it was like $3,000 if you catch actual activity. So that's what we'll be doing. And let's get started. Clint, uh, Cliff, 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 Just Cliff, throw me right in, why don't you? Augustine's Asylum for the Mentally Ill. My producer Tom said good things about you. In your backpack is a flashlight, a voice recorder, an EMF, and a couple of little fun occult things. We'll let you know when to take those out. Ready to pay off some of those college debts and beer tabs? Well, of course you are. And when you're ready, enter in through those front doors. Okay, let's try. And I can't run, so it's just purely walking. Okay. Nice, the door was unlocked. Ah, it can get a little sticky sometimes. So here's the story behind the St. Augustine's Asylum for the Mentally Ill. It was founded in the 1880s, closed in the 1960s, and a lot of nasty stuff happened here. I mean, this place is only supposed to house around 500 patients, but at its peak, it was around 3,300 patients in here. I mean, the place was, you know, less of a hospital and more of a place where you dropped your problems off and hoped they disappeared. That's fucked up. In the end, this place was sort of against what the Bible's supposed to teach. I mean, there was no love here, no grace, no healing. The patients were not here to be rehabilitated. Ordinary people just wanted them gone for public. They shoved those with non-threatening mental conditions or those deemed inappropriate to society together with legitimate psychopaths and murderers and other violent monsters and basically said, let God sort it out. The atrocities in here are just too much to count. The death toll was unreal. The violence, the disease, the abuse, nobody cared. And once you came to this place, you never left. That's just sad. That's just so sad. Now, I had another light on for, um, to help with face tracking, and my dad just turned it off, so it just became a whole lot darker in the room I'm in. So, it, 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 Playing this in the dark definitely sets a very different mood. Like, in the light, yeah, it's just as scary, but I, it's, it's worse. It's a lot worse right now. This is where the hundred hallways patients would convene. We heard that the patients pre-1920 actually received decent care. Then the war hit, the depression hit, and then the budgets all fell apart. The room you stand in once healed 20 patients in need of attention. And by the end, 150 patients would pass through this room, naked, starving, attacking each other at random, flaying themselves with metal wires from their beds. Be careful where you step. Mm, wow. 
Alright, this is a good place to start. I want you to take out your voice recorder, and I'll hopefully be able to awaken this place. Okay, spirits of St. Augustine, please reveal your presence to us. Show us that you are in this room. Feel free to interact with anything, or speak to us. Use your words, use your voice, and let us know that you're here. Okay, play that back. Oh my god. Why the fuck would you do that? What an ass. You're an ass. You're an ass. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Did you hear that? Did you... Play that back. Play that back. Prick. Um... Show up or piss off. <laughs> oh, ho, 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 ho. All right, all right. We, looks like we got an investigation. All right. I want you to go down the morgue hallway. And we're going to continue our investigation in the other gathering area. I mean, obviously, when you meet negativity with negativity, there is going to be okay, the four areas pushback. Fill your contract. The e-social area is the first on the list. This is the area where the inmates who are deemed a danger to society would be meet. You'll go to this room and perform a summoning ceremony. This is so a walk into the center and cell 219. Eh, we're talking extreme bipolarism. Oh shit, so I I no, went too far dangerous. in the but middle of his recording. Oops. <laughs> Too soon. Too soon. Too soon. This is too soon. Homie, this is this is too soon. Too soon. No longer shielded from the realm of the dead. You may be seen, interact, and manipulate him in any way as you see fit. Uh. you it's it's not if it were you like you would it's oh my god you're saying it because it's not you oh my god oh my god i already know a hand oh my god it's gonna pop out shit no 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 <laughs> you play late night mop you played Inside the Walls. You played Lilith's Curse. 
that you're okay. It's okay. It's okay. Mm. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> okay. Mm. Dude, she's just chilling and I don't want to bother her. And then the fact- oh my god, and then the music's like really loud. It really- oh my god. Get it's really scary. Just, just go to the front door and get out. Well, I can't run. How would you put right, me through this and then tell me to go? Uh, take your second right. Left, right. Oh, okay, there's a there's a staircase. Take the staircase up to the second floor, and you should be next to a fire escape. You should be able to get out that way. So, so go up the staircase. What staircase? Is it this room over here? <gasps> oh my god. He said to take the staircase. Poor guy. I, I wouldn't even do this to pay off my my student debt. debt. Th this, like... Heck no. That leads me right back over here. Oh my god. And it's just, oh my god. I'm so scared. Now it's almost like it's forcing me to open every door. Like getting go goosebumps. Oh, frick. Mm. Mm -mm. Mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> I'm so scared. <laughs> I'm really scared right now. Uh, I'm like, like, 
the curse of Lilith and late night mop so far on this journey have been like my top two and this one's starting to like bring Lilith down one at like <sighs> I need a mo I need a moment I need a moment I say that probably every other game, but I, I do need a moment that... Shit. Mm, okay, 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 okay. We can, we can, we can do this. We can do this. It's okay. Oh, so it's like No eyes. Don't see no eyes. It just keeps getting worse. What do you mean my flashlight broke? What do you mean my flashlight broke?
Oh my god. You say run, but he only has one speed and it's walking unless I don't know how to use... Don't know all the buttons on this. Oh my god, 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 oh my
subscribe, and leave a comment. Because, again, I love comments, and I reply back to comments. And I'll catch you guys tomorrow night. Bye!